Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides, four vertices and four angles. We have different types of quadrilaterals: per rectangle, parallelogram, trapezium, rhombus and kite. We'll see some properties of quadrilateral. They always have four sides, four vertices and they will be having two diagonals and the sum of all the interior angles is equal to 360 why because if i consider any quadrilateral means a polygon having a four sides now i will draw one diagonal here this this diagonal divided the whole quadrilateral into two triangles one triangle and two triangle we know that sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree so the angles of this triangle will be 180 degree and the angles of this triangle will be 180 degree so it is 180 plus 180 360 degree therefore the sum of all interior angles is equal to 360 degree next we'll see the properties of square rectangle parallelogram parallelogram trapezium rhombus and kite square square is a quadrilateral in which all the sides are equal and all this pair of sides that means this pair and this pair the sides are parallel and all the interior angles are equal to 90 degree so all the angles are 90 degree and then diagonals of a square bisect perpendicularly that means these these two diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly that means the angle formed here is 90 degree then rectangle in rectangle opposite sides are equal this and this equal next this side and this side are equal and also opposite sides are parallel all the interior angles are equal to 90 degree in rectangle also the same property then diagonal bisect each other but here they are not bisecting perpendicularly that means the angle formed here is a different one here in square the diagonals bisect perpendicularly that means the angle formed here is here is 90 degree but in rectangle it is bisecting only it is not bisecting perpendicularly so the angle formed here will be different one next is rhombus rhombus is a quadrilateral in which all the sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel then opposite angles are equal here also the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly that means the angle formed here is 90 degree and sum of the two adjacent angles is equal to 180 degree here the sum of these two angles will be 180 degree and these two will be 180 degree these two will be 180 degree total will be 360 next one is parallelogram in parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal then diagonals bisect each other then the sum of any two adjacent angles the sum of adjacent angles will be equal to 180 degree next one is trapezium in trapezium only one pair of the opposite side is parallel to each other that means here only one pair is parallel and other two sides will be not equal they may be equal or not equal if they are equal then that trapezium is called as isosceles trapezium if the sides are not equal then it's called as only trapezium then two adjacent angles are supplemented that means the sum of the adjacent angles will be equal to 180 degree the diagonals of a trapezium bisect each other in the same ratio the next one is kite the pair of adjacent sides of a kite are equal these two sides will be equal and these two sides will be equal in kite the largest diagonal this diagonal bisects the smaller one that means these two will be equal then only one pair of opposite sides are equal in this 
only these two angles are equal next is area and perimeters of quadrilaterals for a square the area is side into side and perimeter is 4 into side for a rectangle the area is length into breadth then perimeter is 2 into length plus breadth then for a parallelogram the area is equal to base into height the height is the perpendicular distance from the side to the side then for a trapezium the area is half into sum of parallel sides into into distance between the parallel sides then perimeter is sum of all the sides then for a rhombus the perimeter is equal to 4 into side and area is equal to half into the diagonal 1 and into the diagonal 2 for a kite the area is equal to half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 the perimeter is 2 into the sides a and b next we'll see some different problems on these if the base of parallelogram is thrice its height and the area is 108 meter square then find the base okay so here they have given a parallelogram let us take this as base and this as height a perpendicular distance as height so base is thrice of its height therefore base is equal to 3 into height we know that area is equal to base into height therefore substitute area as 108 is equal to base as 3h into h therefore it is 108 is equal to 3h square and by simplifying you get h is equal to 6 base is equal to 3h therefore 3 into 6 18 so base is 18 cm sorry 18 meters next one which of the following properties are not true for a parallelogram its diagonals are equal this is a true its diagonals are perpendicular to each other no this is not true because the diagonals are perpendicular to each other in square rhombus and kite the diagonals does divide the figure into four congruent triangles yes this is also true all the above no since this option is not true this option is also not applicable therefore the option b is the right answer next one in a parallelogram abcd angle d is equal to 60 degree then the measurement of angle a is so they are asking for the angle a we know that in a parallelogram the sum of adjacent angles is equal to 180 degree therefore this angle plus this angle must be 180 degree so the angle a will be 120 degree option a the diagonals of a quadrilateral pqrs bisect each other at right angles if pq is 5.5 cm then the perimeter of pqrs is first let us find which quadrilateral it is since it is given as the diagonals bisect each other at right angles the possibility of two quadrilaterals are there one is square and another one is rhombus in both square and rhombus all the sides are equal and the formula for perimeter is 4 into side therefore 4 into side 4 into 5.5 it is 22 cm it can be either rhombus or square next one the ratio of two sides of a parallelogram is 4 is to 3 if its perimeter is 56 cm find the length of its sides So let us take the sides as 4x and 3x. We know that the perimeter of a parallelogram is 2 into the sum of two sides. So 2 into 4x plus 3x, 2 into 4 plus 3 is 7x. Therefore, perimeter 56 is equal to 14x. So by simplifying, you get the value of x as 4. Then substitute the value of x as 4. You get 16 and 12 the four one side is 16 cm and another one is 12 cm next one the length of a rectangle is 8 cm and each of its diagonals measures 10 cm 
find its breadth so we need to find the breadth we know that angles of a rectangle are 90 degree all the angles are 90 degree therefore the triangle formed here is a right angled triangle we know that we can apply pythagoras theorem to a right angle therefore by applying pythagoras theorem you get ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square then substitute the value of ab and ac here therefore 8 square plus bc square is equal to 10 square then bc square is equal to 100 minus 64 therefore you get the value of bc as 6 this is the breadth 6 cm next one abcd is a rhombus whose diagonals ac and bd intersect at a point o if ab is equal to 10 cm and diagonal bd is equal to 16 cm find the length of a diagonal ac okay we know that in the rhombus diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly that means the angle formed here is 90 degree therefore the triangle formed here aob is a right angle triangle therefore we can again apply pythagoras for formula to obtain this length we know that the diagonals are bisecting each other that means the diagonal are divided into two equal parts therefore the length of ob will be half of the length of this diagonal db therefore it is ob is equal to 8 cm then apply pythagoras theorem for this triangle aob that is ao square plus ob square is equal to ab square then by substituting and simplifying you get the value of ao is equal to 6 cm that is this value 6 cm they are asking for the length of ac so ac is ao plus oc and we know that in rhombus the diagonals are bisecting each other perpendicularly that means they are divided into two equal parts therefore ao will be equal to oc so oc and ao are equal therefore i am substituting oc as ao we know the length of ao so 2 into ao that is 2 into 6 therefore you get the value of ac as 12 cm next one in a quadrilateral abcd angle a is equal to 72 degree and angle c is the supplementary of angle a the other two angles are 2x minus 10 and x plus 4 find the value of x and the measure of all the angles it is given that angle c is supplementary to a that means the sum of these two angles will be equal to 180 degree therefore angle c plus angle a is equal to 180 degree therefore the angle c is equal to 180 minus a that is 180 minus 72 you get the angle c as 108 degree then we know that the sum of angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree so now substitute the values of a b c and d and then by simplifying you get x is equal to 62 degree then substitute for all the angles a is 72 b is 2x minus 10 so substitute the value of x here you get b as 114 then c is 108 d is 66 degree 